Statistics by the United Nations Children Education Fund indicates that children with disabilities constitute more than 50% of the over 10 million out-of-school children in Nigeria. Now, this is in spite of the existence of the Universal Basic Education Act 2004, which provides for free and compulsory basic education. From these statistics, it means 7 million children living with disabilities are out of school. This goes against the Convention on the Rights of Persons with Disability, signed and ratified by Nigeria. In 2007, as well as the Discrimination Against Persons with Disabilities Prohibition Act signed in 2018, now, the Ready Foundation wants this narrative to change. The whole essence of this project is for us to bring the attention of the government to this and so that going forward we, con we start to um, have the education of children with disabilities being budgeted for because we know if it's being budgeted for then we have the likelihood uh, to have it you know really being implemented our support to this project for children with disabilities is hinged upon the principle of leaving no one behind and nothing for us without us as an organization we support persons with disabilities or provide even more support to those who are marginalized. Let us reawaken our determination to make inclusive education a budgetary priority by working collaboratively with policymakers, with educators, and the wider community. We can ensure that financial resources are allocated with a focus on equity. The organization is asking for 10% of the total education budget in states and federal government to fund inclusive education for children with disabilities. So you may want to ask that since that UBEC policy came into force, how has it impacted the lives of children with disability? So there are a lot of things that are not in place and that's why in calling for increased budgetary allocation we also call for accountability. There are quite a number of benefits, you know, for inclusive budgeting. If we're able to take this advocacy almost state by state. So maybe we'll have to meet um, the governor's forum. So it is in their interest for them to take it as priority at the state level with the governor himself leading this change. At this town hall meeting, advocates and persons with disabilities are here to deliberate and come up with a comprehensive document to be forwarded to policymakers for necessary action and implementation. The foundation hopes that funds will eventually be earmarked for inclusive education for children living with disabilities in the 2024 budget. Georgina Ndukwezainka, Arise News.